uh, Dwarakesh Jairam, Senior Industrial Engineer with uh, Zululi. The hot thing right now in fulfillment is how to move products faster and get 100% efficiency uh, by using robotics uh, so that we can have people walk less and do more and let the robots do all the walking and moving. The main challenge I was trying to solve was to remove the redundant operator from his uh, uh, daily ferrying products routine and put him into an actual useful operation which in turn gives us productivity. When we looked at C-Grade, we thought this would be a great innovative solution for us because this is not an, uh, an age-old practice where we put tape or magnetic wire to drive a machine, but it, it captures images from the warehouse, translates that into data, and then it drives by itself. To put it in other terms, it's just like a self-driving car, but within the FC. And C-Grade is unique because they don't use any magnetic tape or laser or uh, wire on the floor. It, it gives us the flexibility to uh, change because it uses cameras and 3D vision to move and it, it's also it's just like a baby we train it and it, it simply does what it needs to do. It was just an eight month return which was great for our management and we were starting to see the benefits as soon as we started to roll. Bringing in Seagrid into the equation we don't we didn't have to bring people in the play because Seagrid does everything the the robot does what six people do day in and day out. We are constantly changing in our environment here. We will constantly change whether it's a, a path or where things are stowed or adding equipment or conveyors. What this has not allowed us to do is we could simply pick up from one point that we're trained in and move the whole path in another point without destroying the floor with tape or magnetic strip by just driving it into an area and reteaching it and creating a whole route. Secret Supervisor is actually probably one of the most exciting things about the program is that we, it actually gives us an overview of the condition of the robot, of where it's at, uh, what its battery life is, but not only that, it allows us to interact signals. Uh, we can control it from the supervisor. In other words, I can have a PLC send a signal to it, and that could be as simple as, hey, we want to send it to a different route. We want to have it go somewhere else or have it stop if there's a fire alarm, for instance. We also have monitors at each station on each end of the routes so the operator can see the condition or even where it's at. I mean, if, if it's en route to their pro upcoming process, they can look up at the monitor and say, okay, it's almost here, I'm ready, I gotta get prepped, I'm ready to go.